Hello, Joshers, and welcome to another episode of Jeezy Box. Today, we're going to be talking about Godzilla vs. Kong. This is the final chapter of the MonsterVerse thus far. I have seen a couple hashtags rolling around of continue the MonsterVerse. Uh, I'm not against it. I don't know where they go from here. I don't know that it really matters. Like, they pumped out tons of Godzilla and King Kong movies over the year. As far as changing the characters at this point, I don't see much use to it. All of the people in these Godzilla movies have been fairly flat, other than, uh, of course, the good doctor. Um, in this one, you've got the family is coming back. Then you've got, like, the son of Mr. Uh, Dr. Watanabe, and he's a bad guy in this one. Uh, could, uh, involved in the Mecha Godzilla. Seeing Mecha Godzilla fighting both Kong and Godzilla. They go to the center of the earth in this one. King Kong gets uh, a giant magic axe from his ancestral home at the center of the earth where there's like upside down mountains and stuff going on. Remember in Congress of Skull Island, the the Skull Crawlers, as, uh, as Step Brothers called them, uh, they were coming up from the ground and so it was kind of implied that all the monsters were uh deep underground in sort of the journey to the center of the earth uh brendan fraser uh, later replaced by the rock even though i thought he did a spectacular job in the first one as well as in the mummy movies and in doom patrol uh brendan fraser that's what's up Way to make a comeback. Sorry to hear about what happened with your career, and I'm glad to see you're doing well. This is a really fun movie. I don't think anyone was going to Kong vs. Skull Island for like uh, Schindler's List sort of situation. Everyone knew what we were getting into. We were getting in two giant monsters fighting giant monsters because we want to see a kaiju fight. Kaiju fights are always a good time. That's why we've had so many Godzilla and Kong movies. That's why we have the Pacific Rim movies. That's even, honestly, I would argue why we have the Transformers as a concept as well, uh, even though they might not be to that level. Level most times uh, or that size most times especially in this franchise where they really did dial up uh, King Kong's size watching him and Godzilla fight is awesome and it's even better when they end up teaming up uh, and like kind of become a family uh, it's like fast and the furious but giant and monstrous uh, it's a really fun movie. The reason why this one was so late on the post, uh, there was just some scheduling conflicts on this one. Uh, I did have uh, a guest who really wanted to be here for this one, and there were just there were too many scheduling conflicts, and didn't want to make you guys wait anymore. So we've got this one. Uh, if schedules line up better in the future, we will definitely be doing some more uh, guest episodes coming soon. Um, this is, of course, the final chapter, as I said, in the MonsterVerse, so if you are interested in seeing more movies in the MonsterVerse, uh, I would definitely be sharing that hashtag, uh, continue the MonsterVerse, hashtag restore the Snyderverse, King Ghidorah, Mothra, King Kong, Godzilla, uh, who else? There's Rodan, uh, Mecha Godzilla, even in this one. That was so cool. That's so cool. Both go total beast mode in this one. The fight's amazing. And the movie's only two hours long, so it's not even a hard fit in on like a movie. They, you, it, cause it, they don't waste a lot of time on exposition because the exposition doesn't matter. This is one you can talk over. Just watch it as big as you can when you watch it. You do not want to watch it small, it's a big movie. It's a blockbuster. These blockbuster ones are always going to be more explosive if you can watch them in the full size. It's a watch from me, and why dress like you when you can wear me? Thank you.